Hey everybody, Dan here with Pain Free You. Today's topic is going to be what currently happens is not what needs to happen. So, I'll get to that topic in a minute. Still too cold out. I don't feel like freezing out there shooting a video. Sorry. <laughs> uh, see if you can just relax your body. Because when you relax your body, your breathing returns to normal. And for anybody who saw that uh, breathe meditation that I did, um, got some feedback that I went a little bit too fast. So you don't have to breathe with me. Listen to the words and breathe at your own pace, and it will still have the same calming, wonderful effect. Relax your body and let your body breathe at its own natural pace. Nothing exaggerated is necessary. All right, so what currently happens does not need to happen anymore. What I'm talking about is this. I hear a lot of people saying, Dan, but when I get stressed out, my symptoms jump. When I do this movement, my symptoms jump. When I uh, go to work, my symptoms jump. When I get up in the morning, my symptoms climb. When this happens, when this happens, when this happens, my symptoms get worse. When I get into a conflict with somebody else, my symptoms get worse. And many people are like, well, this is just what it is. And then we feel like we have to avoid all of these triggering events in our lives in order to not have symptoms. But that's not necessarily true. It's absolutely not true. Just because your brain is currently responding with symptoms upon certain life stressors, and most importantly, most clearly perceived dangers, if your brain is currently responding to perceived dangers with symptoms, that doesn't mean it has to happen. It just means that's what's currently happening. And the entire goal of this approach of teaching your brain that those perceived dangers aren't really truly dangerous and they don't warrant symptoms is to teach the brain to stop it with the symptoms. Life is still going to be stressful. Life is still going to have its ups and downs emotionally, mentally, stress-wise, self-judgment, self-criticism. We're still going to be flawed individuals. We all are. We don't have to be perfect. And we certainly, we certainly cannot avoid all of these things that in the past and maybe even in your present currently trigger some symptoms. But it doesn't have to be that way. I mean, you've heard me talk about it. Life can be lifey, but you don't have to hurt. And that's the point of this video, is just because something is currently happening, that just identifies your training opportunity. That just identifies what you need to shift your perspective on. Because if you think going to work is supposed to hurt physically, you're expecting it, and the brain's going to deliver it. But what if you started changing your expectations and started to remind yourself and reassure yourself that something as benign as going to work does not need to make my pain or symptoms flare? What would happen if you changed your story? What would happen if you made a decision not to believe that something that currently happens has to continue to happen? I mean, seriously, none of this stuff needs to continue. That's the entire focus of my entire approach is to say, hey, we're actually not broken, so hey, brain, shh, we don't need those symptoms. You can turn them off because there's nothing truly dangerous going on, you know? So just because your current 
brain's response to perceived danger is symptoms or an increase in symptoms, please, please, please don't decide that that's what's going to and needs to happen forever. That's, that's a misunderstanding. It does not have to be that way because I still have plenty of life stressors. Trust me, I do. You know, mom's in the hospital. Not hospital. Um, you know, the assisted living facility. Just went through a stroke. Still running my coaching program. Still, you know, doing these daily videos. Um, there's all sorts of stuff. Life is still stressful. Had some changes in relationships over the past two years. Life is still stressful, but you don't have to hurt. You don't need chronic symptoms. And if you get a symptom that pops up as a result of some of these stressors, the calmer you respond and the more clarity you have surrounding it and saying, oh, I know what that is. That's more TMS. I'm not concerned. The faster you get to that, the faster this new symptom that pops up can go away. Without the fear or the attention, these things don't become chronic. They don't become persistent. I hear those stories all day, every day. People saying, oh, something came back, but I knew exactly what it was. And I wasn't afraid. And I didn't give it much fear or attention, and it went away. That's what we do. Now try to apply that same concept to your existing symptoms. Now I know they hold a lot of fear. They've got your attention. They've captured your attention. But when you learn that there's nothing to fix, there's nothing wrong, there's nothing broken, and you learn to respond calmly with little interest, even your main symptoms can and will go away once your brain reads the memo that says, hey, shh, there's nothing wrong here. Right? Your, your brain's job is safety and survival. It's operating on misinformation and fear. Correct the misinformation to dial down the fear. Shift your attention back to living life. You can get well. So that's what I've got for you today. Hopefully everybody is doing well. Love you guys and gals. Hope you had a very Merry Christmas. And uh, pretty soon I'm going to be wishing you a Happy New Year. That's coming up before you know it. Take care, everybody. Love you.